I too was once a peasant. I too was once poor in Grand Theft Auto Online. Until one day I said, enough is enough. I must stop this peasantry and go on youtube.com and learn how to become wealthy like the man, the myth, the legend, Hacky. Alright, I'm never doing a British accent ever again. But anyway, welcome to another money-making guide in GTA Online. I apologize for that horrible attempt at a British accent. Shout out to everyone watching from the UK right now. These are going to be the most convenient methods for broke people as you don't really need anything to start with. Firstly, we're going to take advantage of all the free ways we can make a lot of money without having to buy anything beforehand. Step 1 is going to the casino and spinning the wheel. You can win cash, RP, clothing, and exclusive vehicles through this wheel you can also win casino chips which then you can go to the help desk inside of the casino and convert that into money but the two you want to hope for the most probably is just straight cash or to win a vehicle which there's two methods to do that either get the secret one or just the podium vehicle the mystery option which is the secret one i was referring to can actually get you really rare items like for example the lost slam van anyway hopefully you win some money i myself got really unlucky and got some clothing but just go back to this wheel every single day and and you can spin it over and over again. I would recommend making it a habit to go to the casino once every 24 hours and spinning the wheel. Hopefully you get some extra cash or just any cool item. Now the most money you can get out of time from that wheel is only $50,000. So let's move on to a bit of a better money making method that can possibly get you a lot more than $50,000. Depending on which one you do, the time trials are a fantastic way of making money. There's four different time trials in the game if you're on current gen. If you happen to still be playing on the Xbox One or the PS4, then you only have three I believe. The main one you want to be focusing on is the house special works time trial. It's got a purple icon on the map and it's going to be at a different location every single week in GTA Online. It's got a little H on it so it should be pretty obvious to see and this one by far pays the most amount of money in GTA Online and it's actually in my opinion the easiest time trial you can do as well. I guess Rockstar purposely just made it easier just kind of like as a benefit for current gen players just because they want more and more people to upgrade and so on GTA Online Next Gen, you actually have this one and it pays over $250,000 for completing once again a pretty basic and pretty simple time trial. We can confidently say the HSW time trials are way easier than let's say the regular time trial which is available on all platforms. We'll talk a little bit more about the regular time trial in a bit. The only requirement for an HSW time trial is an HSW vehicle. Let me know if you want me to make a video on the easiest HSW vehicles to get but if you're looking for the absolute best one that would probably be the Hakachu Drag HSW. Typically motorcycles are just the best bet when it comes to time trials even better than like supercars or sports cars. We'll get back to the time trials a little bit later but let's move into the weekly bonus jobs. These are different bonuses that change every single week on random rockstar created jobs so these could be races or captures or last team standings or certain contact missions and these bonuses vary from two times money in RP all the way up to five times money in RP. If you manage to find a five times bonus one week, definitely take advantage of that because that is crazy. It really depends on the game modes though because some double money in RP bonuses are still amazing. For example, a game mode I really like to go and play with friends is Sumo. It's very basic. You just have to fit into a certain platform with a certain vehicle and knock people off and usually you can do these in multiple teams and with a lot of other people as well. They can even be fun with randoms too. I find myself having like a lobby of 20 people. If you manage to find a big lobby, it's usually more fun. I wouldn't expect you to go and gather like 30 of your friends from work or school and then just play just you guys. The sumo game mode is basically bumper cars and if you do see it on bonus, and this goes for any bonus money in RP job that you see and then you want to go and play, set it to the maximum amount of rounds and it's usually seven so you would probably want to play every single round and you would want to win four to three so you won four times. The more rounds you play in a game, mode and the longer you play each of those rounds that's what's going to make you the most amount of money you can probably make a few hundred thousand dollars if you play it right it really depends on the bonus job because some are better some are worse the most money i've ever made playing a bonus money in rp job was i believe just over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. and i really don't play a lot of bonus money in rp jobs that should give you an idea of how far you can go with it you can probably make a bit more than that probably in the three hundred thousands. but again it depends what the game mode is what the bonus is 
is and how you actually play the game itself. It definitely is a bit more time consuming to do than let's say a time trial because that only takes like a minute or two. But to switch it up, you should definitely try these fun game modes too. Now for the regular time trial, the only requirement for it is a personal vehicle. And there's a very, very cheap vehicle that you should buy for this. I mean, sure, you can go for a $3 million supercar. But if you're watching this video, chances are you probably don't have one and you don't need one anyway. The only thing you need to spend is $15,000 on a bad 801 motorcycle. This extremely cheap bike is probably the best bang for a buck vehicle in the whole game. And using this bike, you can complete every single new regular time trial in GTA Online, which you get about $101 or $102,000 each time you complete one. Now, I will say these time trials, as we said earlier, are a bit more difficult than the HSW one. Rockstar once again purposely made the HSW ones a little bit easier. This one that you're seeing in the gameplay actually took me so freaking long long to master a lot of the time with these regular time trials you should probably find yourself some sort of shortcut on the way there so if you just put a regular gps it's going to show you the best route to get there but not the fastest so you kind of just have to make a big brain play in order to actually complete this one on this mount chiliad one which is probably one of the if not the most difficult time trial i've ever done there are so many trees and obstacles and rocks that can make you fall off your bike or just slow you down a lot this one was an absolute absolute pain to complete. That's why I like the HSW time trials a bit better. They pay you much more and they're pretty easy and straightforward. Another time trial doesn't have any requirements. You don't even need any personal vehicle to use because once you press right d-pad to start this, you're just automatically supplied with a BMX bike. The main trick to complete these junk energy time trials is just spamming RB or R1 on PlayStation. That's going to make you hop in the air and it just makes you go way faster. So spam A or X on PlayStation and then while you're doing that just spam r1 or rb on xbox and that's going to give you a huge boost as you're seeing in the gameplay in this one the payout for this one is about fifty-two thousand dollars, so not as good as the other ones but it's still 52k made in basically a minute or two minutes at most the fourth time trial you should take advantage of and this one is only for people that own an rc bandito so if you don't have one i guess you can skip this part obviously with this one you're driving an rc car and the handling of it is much different than all the other ones so it takes a little bit of getting used to but if you do as a broke person in gta happen to somehow have the rc bandito take advantage of this one it's fun it's also gonna get you fifty two thousand dollars in just a minute or two and as a new player in gta online playing on the next gen version of the game you're given four million dollars to spend on businesses vehicles weapons and whatever else so here are some good businesses that can actually benefit you in passive income you could be pvping or doing a heist or doing a drag race with friends or just messing around in a free roam session and as you're doing whatever you're gonna get notifications on the left side saying you're generating money and you should go to your safe to collect it in whatever property the absolute best passive money maker is the nightclub so if you happen to choose the nightclub as the first business you're gonna start off with as long as you keep your popularity bar up you're gonna be making fifty thousand dollars every in-game day which is every 48 minutes just to do some quick math if you happen to play a couple of hours of GTA every day, you would get about $250,000, which is what it caps at. And playing GTA Online just for a couple of hours each day for, let's say, a week, you could be making upwards of a million dollars. To set up the wall safe in the first place, you have to do a few simple missions, and then it's pretty easy. Another very good business property to own is the agency. It also has a wall safe. The passive income isn't as good as the nightclubs, but it's there if you want to. It starts off generating a very low amount of money and as you do more security contract missions through the agency computers it actually increases the amount so technically it could be as good as the nightclubs or at least close to the only other businesses i would look at for passive money is the salvage yard which is kind of a meh business i wouldn't really recommend it for people that are broke i think there's better options and then the arcade is another business that has the safe in it which you can generate passive money it's also not a lot personally if you want to buy the arcade make sure you buy it for the diamond casino heist if you're interested in that and worry less about the passive income since it's not that good and another big tip i have for you is to take advantage of the first dose and the last dose missions which you can start through the r icon in sandy shores the missions themselves don't pay that well but you do get a fat first time bonus of a hundred thousand dollars for each mission you complete and they really don't take that long they probably take as long as like high setup missions so anywhere between
between like 10 to 20 minutes, I would say. Very, very worth it if you ask me. Drop a like if you went on to find this video helpful. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers, so if you do want to help us get there, feel free to. That would be awesome. Turn on that notification bell as well. Now click the video on screen now for the most expensive things in GTA Online. I hope you all enjoy that video, and peace.